89, 930 turbo. The slant nose, very desirable slant nose. Flat bow. Uh, Chris, in the, port, in the Porsche world, the slant noses are, some people like them, some people don't. What are your thoughts about, I mean, these are rare, only 34 of these were built for the North American market. What are your thoughts? I mean, I love the classic 911 style with those headlights sticking out, but I mean, you can't deny what a gorgeous design this is. So unusual and it works and it's amazing. Like it. You can always tell a factory slant nose. With the conversion kits, there's something always a little yeah. bit off, but mm -hmm. factory, it works. It's perfect. I love them, especially with the headlights up. They up. look really cool with the headlights up. 120 is the bid. 40, Turbocharged 3.3 liter, air cooled, flat six, rear mounted. And the five speed, not the four speed, towards the end of the run on these, they decided to go ahead and put a, a beefed up five speed. That legendary G50 transmission, which yes. debuted in 1987, backing up that 3.0 liter flat six. I mean, this is a heck of a power plant. I tell you what, Chris, I am right with you on the traditional look of the front end of the Porsche, but on a on a factory slant nose, if the money's right, if the budget's right, I'm not going to walk away. I really like it. Heck no, I drive it all day long. Drive, drive, sell, or park. I'm driving. <laughs> One fifty-five. The internet is back in the game here. And the reserve is off. And the reserve is off. Yeah, consigner on the t-shirt on the top screen. Internet, the high bidder at 160. As in $160,000. One last call, and that hammer cracks to the internet, Scott. $160,000.